Hello, this is Kel. Welcome to the Kel Scale. This episode, The House with a Clock in Its Walls, directed by Eli Roth. Eli Roth has never directed a kid's movie. All of his movies are rated R and are horror movies. So, of course, Amblin was like, yeah, this is the guy to make a, move, a kid's movie based on a book from the 70s. It was passable. Like, I was expecting a lot worse or just really nothing at all. And what I got was fine for what it was. Clearly Eli, Eli Roth can't hold up his hangups from R-rated movies because, first of all, the main kid, Lucas, Lewis, sorry, to impress his friend, even though he knows magic by this point, because Magic Jack Black taught him, and Magic Kate Blanchett, was not like, oh, I'll levitate my friend, I'll like, I don't know, make a portal, I'll teleport a dog from this area to this area. He, he went straight to necromancy. Like, zero to sixty, right there. He's like, yeah, if I use necromancy, that'll impress my friend. He literally could have used any other magic trick, but he's like, I'm gonna go steal this book that Jack Black Wizard told me not to get and use it. So, the kid uses the necromancy book, he raises some ancient evil played by uh, the man from Twin Peaks and the dad from Inside Out. Kyle McLaughlin. Yep. He doesn't look too terrible. Like, the CGI is not great, but I kind of like his design. And it's just Kate Blanchett Wizard, Jack Black Wizard, and Little Kid Wizard all trying to fight evil Kyle McLaughlin. Uh, Jack Black and Kate Blanchett are the best part of this movie. Kate Blanchett more just because she had better lines than Jack Black. Like, I won't put it against Jack Black, he was given a script and he just went with it like he normally does. But their back and forth is actually really good. I like it. Uh, there's a horrifying part where Jack Black's human adult-sized head is shoved onto the body of a baby. And it's a real bad CGI. Yep. And it is the worst thing I've ever witnessed in a theater. I legitimately call... Uh, I legitimately thought about calling it quits right there, like actually <laughs> getting up and leaving. And I was with other people, but I stuck through it, unfortunately. Like a champ. Yep even though I really did want to leave the theme. <laughs> well, some of the magic effects are good. Like, it is creative in its magic. It doesn't go the whole chosen one stereotype. Anyone can learn magic, like anyone. Oh, yeah. Overall, I'd give it a 4 out of 10. Jeff Goldblum, do it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't remember the promo. Uh, I forgot it. As make a new one. Yeah, make up one. Watch our show. Watch our show. Okay, are you funny? <laughs> listen yeah. to our show. Yeah. <laughs> listen to our Watch, show. listen, and read our show all at the same time. Read. Alright, ready? Yeah. Listen to our show, which we are currently making right now, because Colin sprung the promo on me, and I didn't have time to plan. This is a weird promo, Joe. 